strong performance. Strong heritage here in Puerto Rico, as both his mother and father are from here on the island. He is far. I knew I had something to prove that night to the world that I was the best. Nice one two combination by the champion. I take nothing away from Matisse, but I knew I had more experience than him in title fights. Danny told me, he said, Pa, I don't even want to knock him out. I want to spoil I went in there, I executed for 12 rounds. It's going to be the first time I fight with everybody in the city to go. You know, we've gotten used to being pleasantly surprised by the champ. Khan beating Lucas Matisse. Now we see how he reacts as the champ. Roja, el retador Mauricio, el maestro Herrera. The booze and not surprisingly the soundtrack for 33-year-old Mauricio Herrera. He's won two straight since back-to-back -back losses against the undefeated Kareem Mayfield and the then unbeaten Mike Alvarado. Herrera's only other setback versus Mike Anchondo on Showbox was frankly a bad decision. His biggest win today came in January of 2011 against the previous league. And he's fighting in this hostile environment. But in his uh, home of Riverside, Cal awaits the area. Yes, no, a los jueces. From San Juan, Puerto Rico, Carlos Colon. Coming by way of knockout. Su record, 20 victorias y 3 derrotas con 7 ganadas por la vía del knockout. Clasificado número 3, peso super ligero de la AMB y número 10, CMB. From Riverside, con sangre de Puerto Rico. Toughest and the smartest he's had. He, he didn't want to allow stripes. Herrera in the red with white. A lot of jabs. And also, Diego Garcia was a amateur tournament, so although his reputation is... The Puerto Rican crowd as Herrera moves in, but rounds averaging just over five rounds as he attacks the body with... They're trying to use different targets at Garcia. Herrera's 23 previous fights have lasted 162 rounds, averaging seven rounds each as he... <laughs> Garcia... What the interesting question is right away, he has, and Garcia told us, if I have to go after him, I will, and look at he's landing big punches already early. When needed. Garcia's never been down as a pro either. Hand to the body. For Danny Garcia, everyone on her side of the family's left hand. Last fight in his hometown of Philadelphia in October 2. So a bit of a getting to know you round here in the... We're committing... A clash of heads, but the left eye uh, of Mauricio Herrera often swells. It swelled shut against Provide. Blame those little, sh little sh bait here. Herrera continues to target the himself in punch position at all times. Well balanced. Targeting the body, but not following up with the overhand right as he gets her close quarters in the clinch as the jack. Herrera, though, and he's giving Danny Garcia. To make it a little hard for Danny to land. Herrera connected, midway point of round number two. From setting up any offense, it may create some frustration. It may be the kind of numbers he oh. wants to see posted. And Garcia's head just got popped back by a shot, but there's Garcia with a lead right hand to the side of her. He used to target the to fight. He's shot the right hand, his jab is working overhand, over time, and he's showing you combinations he can throw them. 45 seconds left in the second round. This is what I mean right here. You see what Herrera's doing? He's just trying to keep Garcia uncomfortable. He's keep moving his hands in it while Garcia's trying to clinch. It's the little approach. Double jab there that connects. Double hand to the breadbasket by Herrera. Hey, Counter hey, veteran move by Garcia. You see, he caught the jab of Herrera on top of it. Good second round for the challengers. The champion comes on in the this jab landed very well as kind of a counterpunch for Herrera. So it was a crowd been making noise all night long leading up to okay, this okay, a main okay. event as again they days almost six months. So you know you gotta look at the he wants one more fight at 140 before moving up to 140 Seth Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather of course on a, on May 3rd and now goes to the body with an edge in the jab department. Power punches, according to show stand fight. Well, and we would expect that. Though Herrera has landed some nice hooks like that. I mean, Danny is a good enough fighter to cut the ring off. He's not cutting the ring off when Herrera backs up as well. So, it used to being the aggressor. He truly is a counter puncher for the most comfortable. He wanted to make it ugly for Danny Garcia. Now, double the right hands being admonished by the referee. Lead left hook to the side glove. Again, it's about positioning for Garcia. He needs you to commit.
Herrera doesn't fully commit to the shot, so it's hard for him to land the In the third round, Terrence Crawford, who earlier this month defeated Ricky Burns to win the WBO lightweight title, and here comes Herrera. Gar Garcia misses with the counter left. Spectacular, but what it's doing again, it's preventing Garcia from separating him. That's what you want to see. Combination. Again, nothing spectacular, but effective in neutralizing Garcia. Seconds of the third round, Garcia. We are headed to round four of this championship affair. Hello. And uh, you look down now. Dan so this is not strange territory for him. There's the hook. That's really low. And Robert Rivera Jr. is a little low. Exactly. At the other side. He was on the other side. And then at the end of the round. We've completed the schedule for 20-pound crown. Jab. Garcia walking him down. The referee, Roberto Ramirez. Get back to the basics a little bit. Nikoff and Alvarado, Tricio Herrera, and we can see it already. He's not intimidated. Taking the crowd out of it. You know I mean? The crowd is not really into it. Like by Garcia. Right hand on oh. the body by the champion. And now things begin to pick up here in round four. Again, the jab to the solar plexus by Herrera. Garcia just misses with the left. Herrera to prepare for big fights. The gamer. Danny Garcia's thrown better power punches this round, but hasn't landed a lot of them. And, you know, he's a left hook artist, and he's had a... Boy, this round, it's been a... There he goes again with the jet. Lead right hand by Herrera as they clinch again, both working the body to break. A minute left hey, in the fourth. Oops. Again, Herrera just firing off that jab twice, ducking underneath the... I think Garcia's smart trying to... And he has a punch when he's doing that. Ten spending is unified 140. Yo, Herrera. He has been rather mellow, and uh, oh. there's a sense that he's very crisp. Jack, he's off rhythm and doesn't fall into predictable patterns. This fight. And he said, the matter is, this guy throws a lot of punches. He's accurate with... Well put. Oh, oh and there was a stiff right hand from Herrera. They kind of both landed shots. And most people, he'll never walk you down. Herrera's made him pay for that. He's kind of trying to get a punch. Well, Herrera doing a good forward. Garcia able to circle away. Eats another jab, however. And Herrera attacking the body. Garcia by... Garcia down the whole time, but this might be by design by Garcia. Well, Herrera could have cut yes. the off there. I agree. Yeah. Maybe but, a different approach. Although you could feel... The Trying to rally Danny Garcia. There's a three-punch combination by the champion. For that, again, it was an example of Garcia's approach working where he doesn't give ground. He doesn't smother correctly. Garcia's able to land. They're, up, they're keeping Garcia beating him. Right hand will land. Over the lazy jab, Herrera gets that nice right hand in. Uh, Danny Garcia puts it down. There's Herrera with the very good overhand right. Garcia, was, Garcia would reel off a cut that he's punching in combination, but... For him. In the they announced the open scoring as we mentioned earlier, 38. One judge had Garcia 40 to 36, and another judge had Garcia, which differs from our unofficial ringside 39 37. On well, I mean, the guy that had Garcia up four rounds in his career, I don't think he's watching this fight. Defense has Garcia along the ropes again. The halfway point of round number six. Alec Herrera, you got to throw, have a couple of throwaway points. Yeah, Danny Garcia's style is a part. Good one-two combination by Herrera. Four rounds was 39, not five rounds. Half of Herrera. Been scoring. 40 seconds left in the sixth round. There's the jab. Being Garcia at the end of that jab. Herrera's been walking down Garcia for a good chunk of. Herrera over the top. Garcia's done some good counter punching in this round. So the question will be whether the judges are liking that or Herrera's agree. The offense with the jab. The jab walking down Herrera oh. now. But happened. This is Herrera again. There's that educated. He looks to smother you. You just end up getting. Up as we begin, the see has been on fight. Kerner form for the other. All victories as Herrera continues to pop Garcia's head back. And he's making the fight. He's following Garcia around. And look at, look at this. Better here is cut the ring off a little bit. Making the Nesivitz to the center of the ring. And Garcia now looking. There. Kind of can throw off the, the other guy. When you can jab with a jabber, you don't hook with a hooker. In this case, Garcia. Took. 
Rob has proven to be very effective far in the first half of this fight and in the beginning of the second. Scheduled for 12 for Garcia's unified 140-pound championship. Mauro Ranallo along with Hall of Famer Al Bernstein and Pauli Malinaggi who will challenge Sean Porter for his welterweight title coming up on April 19th. And if you look at Alvarado, by now in this fight, his left eye was relatively unscathed while fighting. Marrero was already in his chest, smothering the counter. Final minute of the seventh round. In the bread basket again. There's... But Herrera doing a really nice job of a pretty close round. The, the different, but it's just that Herrera aggressor. Yeah, he's been the aggressor. He, you know, Garcia will be well served to start fainting a little bit too. They're getting to cheer on Danny Garcia, maybe no seconds of continuing. So we head toward Herrera getting on the inside. Of course, using what else? The jab. They're now kind of pushing him down and whacking away. With he dips to the left, tries to get that left hook in. And doubles with the fighters that are taught in the venom and weight behind it. Mauricio Herrera in the red with white in Puerto Rico. You know, one of the to the body that are landed by Herrera are being scored, you know, efficiently. It's not that they've been see all the time. And oh, is it going low, right? Yeah, well, you so we shouldn't question what it has anything to do with. Well, I give it credit. Of course, we saw Marcos might uh, knock down Adrian Broder by Yeah, here. Eight you no punches. Herrera throws in same with his right hand, so he's already smothering you. You hook. Fans here in Puerto with what they're seeing from the jack now against the very tricky challenger. Garcia, he's taking what he's giving hook on Herrera. He stays down too low. Herrera, according to show stats, has thrown over 260 jabs and landed 84. Danny Garcia has thrown a little under 200. Now it's kind of would agree with that punch. Continues to walk down the champion Garcia using his footwork attacking the body with the left hand misses well just smother these are not easy rounds very very good work here but these are tough rounds to score better but maybe he's doing that by degree Garcia grew up watching Mexican legend Julio's proficient body work didn't use go to the body much in the first half of this fight but here is a if he can bend his knees a little bit more in the clinch I come for the second time in his career we talked about the fact that Zodnikov and Michael Alvarado and now Garcia has made her He's not been able to counter quite as effectively as he would like weeks to train him. And I think true. Nice jab there off the fan. It, it caused the landed for Herrera. Trip. Just a messed up rhythm. Conventional. It's hard to fight a guy like him. So you got to get back to your basics. Garcia trying it at times with the jab, but he's, he's looking for too many complicated things. He's but still operating as a boxing hit than typical volume, guys. And that has been the case here as Garcia at bay. Garcia sticks the jab, however. 20 seconds ago, you saw Garcia. It is hard. He got, Herrera got underneath it because he's coming in. Fans beginning to once again bow. There were cheers to Adam Press with what they showed. Cooling down Danny Garcia, the Mauricio Herrera, even though Matisse had his mole. Oh, going there. straight back there. He just blew up Danny Garcia's face of blood with this beautiful combination. Herrera has Garcia along the ropes. And now that was a great point. The reason he's been able to walk Danny down is because Danny, no matter how hard or soft the puncher fights, a fighter, a fighter punches. It's a good exchange here. And now the crowd beginning to rally Garcia. Herrera tries to smother him again. Garcia working the body. There's a chopping right hand. Another strong round for the challenger as Garcia wants to try to steal it in the final seconds of the round. Again, using the jab and what else? But this time the right hand follows it and then Garcia going straight back there. Round 10 underway. They just announced the open score and Danny Garcia after eight, we had it 77 7 so after the eighth one by as many as four points. So I know that sucks some of the drama out of it for some of you, but the fact oh, is yes. we have to report it. I'm 775. I got this uh, ultra in the official score. There's a good combination by Garcia. The fans are reacting favorably. But Herrera standing tall delivers another jab. Garcia leading with the Herrera in the in the eye of the storm, staying very focused, utilizing that jab. Another grown man, it still hurts. Garcia. Look, not as often as he would look back up and try to reset. Punch combination from Danny Garcia, the final 45 seconds. And that's what you want to see, these combinations right here. And the counter left from Garcia. Herrera trying to battle the body. Garcia does. Danny Garcia gets underneath him. Almost. That eye, Danny Garcia, who finds himself along the road. Here at home, Puerto Rico, we are headed Garcia versus Herrera. And early in the round, 
blasting away to the body, throwing the short left hook on the inside, and even though between Danny Gore, after eight rounds, the 78-74 for Garcia, and one had it 70. Now that was after the eighth scoring action is for the that 78-74 scorecard for Garcia. Shame when you're so close. Along the ropes, Garcia now beginning to one. Garcia going for more this round here. He's stepping up. Left hook behind the ear by the champ. I think it's going to really do a lot of damage, but still annoying from that nose. Have it for Herrera and uh, a wider margin by, by Steve Farmer. Well, like Garcia maintaining that distance here. First, stay on the ropes a lot this round. And it's allowed Garcia to get some distance. A left hook is responding to everything Garcia throws. And in what was otherwise a good round for Herrera now, he may be giving it away to Danny Garcia in these final, this final minute or so. There's a chopping Garcia along the ropes. And this crowd trying to will Danny Garcia onto another successful title defense. He's been in the final 30 seconds of the penultimate. Herrera again landing, which is his own jab, then to the body. But disrupt the timing of Garcia, although he's had himself a pretty good round. The 12th and final round is in our sights here in Puerto Rico. Garcia lands the round. Had early on in the round, did some good work as he put Herrera on the ropes, not only in the round, but at the, toward the end of the round, Danny Garcia with Herrera showing a little, maybe a little sign of fatigue backing up. He was able to get Herrera against the ropes and throw some good shots but you see even there not everything lands on the challenger mauricio he's out stalking and again getting under took what you're most concerned about he said yes but also the right hand hook garcia rolling with these there's one of those jabs to the the midsection and it set up the jab for the head. right hand by disruptive rhythm see jab to the body by Hanetta. Stats 198 oh. punch nine for Garcia should be on the scorecard. Just punches are being walking down again. There's a right hand through the guard by Garcia. On the back foot this time, knows, but he's letting go of those combinations. Will be finding a little bit of distance for those yeah, combinations. A little, but the jab and the combination punching are Herrera and yeah, really goes. The the jab. Jab. If you're gonna fight off the back foot, you keep that distance with your jab and then set up those combinations. Left talk countered by Herrera. Final 45 seconds of the championship fight. Going be hanging in the balance. Final 30 seconds. Hook right Straight right, right hand by Herrera. The crowd trying. We've gone through 12 for this unified one. Will Danny Garcia retain the title? Or will Herrera spoil Garcia's Puerto Rican homecoming? A display, and then in the main event, yeah, surprise, surprise, Mauricio Herrera showing the experience from the get-go, keeping Danny Garcia, the world champion, off balance, landing jabs, landing the... Which is thrown, and this gives you... And, it and still champion... Two judges.